Hey, it's Ashley from Westcott, and today I'm going to show you how to build your lighting setup from one light to three lights. In portrait photography, you can do a lot with one light, but knowing when and how to add multiple lights allow you to create even more dynamic images. In this video, we're going to explore the benefits of each setup and talk about why and when you might want to add in more lights. So let's start with the lighting gear. For this whole shoot, I'm going to be using Westcott's U60B LED lights, which comes with a 22-inch octagonal softbox. This is a bicolor constant light head, which means I can adjust the color temperature anywhere from 5600 Kelvin for a natural daylight color to 3200 Kelvin for a warm tungsten look. This can be beneficial in situations where you want to match the ambient lighting of the room or if you want to add a warm or cool touch for a creative effect. The U6DB is a constant light, and one of the benefits of using constant lighting is it provides a real-time preview of how your light is falling on your subject. This allows you to see and adjust your lighting setup on the spot, making it easier to achieve your desired effect. During the shoot, there were several times I wanted to use just a one light setup. You can get a lot of versatility out of a single light, and when it's used properly, it produces a very nice, clean, natural look. It's great for photographers of every skill level, but especially beginners, since its simple nature makes it great for learning. I will often opt to use a single light just because it's very straightforward in its setup, while also producing a very clean and classic look. During this shoot, there was a location I wanted to shoot in, but knew the space was very limited. So I decided to stick with a one light setup just to optimize the space that I was working in. The use of a single light can produce very striking and dramatic shadows, adding depth and dimension to your subject. This effect is useful when emphasizing and creating textures and mood. One thing to think about when working with just one light source is how hard or soft you want your light to be. Luckily with the U60B, you have the options for both. Since I was working with just one light, these kind of decisions have a bigger impact on your image. In one of the rooms, I wanted to create two different looks using a hard light and a soft light. I noticed there were two different windows with one with soft light coming in and the other with hard light, so this was perfect. For the first look, I knew I wanted more of a hard light look. And I noticed that one of the windows had very hard light coming in. It was making these really cool, intricate patterns on the floor. I wanted a light source that would blend and feel natural with the existing ambient light. So I knew hard light was the way to go. So with this in mind, I decided to use the U60B with just the diffusion dome on it. This creates a hard light source, but since the diffusion dome is going to soften it just a little, it makes it a little bit more flattering for my subject. Since the light coming from the window was so hard, it was leaving her face in shadow. By adding a second light, I'm able to illuminate her face while still keeping that hard light and the interesting patterns from the window. So for my next look, I knew I wanted a soft light look. So we moved across the room to a different window. This window had soft light coming in, so I wanted to use my U60B with a soft box. This would complement the ambient lighting in the room already. The natural lighting in this location was actually pretty good, but I wanted to add another light source, just so I can add more detail to her face and kind of balance out the scene. This way I'm able to see both the window and my subject. A one light setup is great in its simplicity, but sometimes you want to add a bit more drama to your image by adding in a second light. A two light setup introduces additional versatility and control over your scene. There are many benefits to adding in a second light to your setup. With two lights, you can achieve a more balanced and even lighting across your subject. This is essential in reducing harsh shadows when working with a two light setup, one light can act as your main light source, while the second light serves as a fill light to help fill in those shadows or provide a highlight to a specific area of your subject. This enhances the overall visual appearance of the photograph. Most importantly, a two light setup provides more creative possibilities, allowing you to experiment with your various lighting setups. During the shoot, I used a two light setup to add dimension and separation from my subject in the background. In one of the rooms, there was a wall with bookshelves, and I thought this would make a great background. So I placed my subject in front of the wall. I knew I wanted a soft light for a more flattering look, but also knew I was going to be shooting wider, more of a three-quarter body shot to show more of the environment in her outfit. So for this shot, I decided to use the soft box so I'd have a softer, larger light source. This would give me a larger spread of light to more evenly cover my subject throughout the frame. So for my main light, I wanted to match the ambient light coming in through the window. So I simply just white balanced both my light and my camera to 5600 Kelvin. With my main light in place, I added in a second light, behind my subject opposite of the main light. The purpose of this light was to add a highlight to my subject's hair, and help separate it from the busy background. To add just a bit of creativity to the scene, I changed the color temperature of my light to 3200 Kelvin. 
This creates a warm highlight to the edge of her hair and outfit, making the overall image a bit warmer while still having the correct white balance on my subject. This allows for both the lighting on the subject and the background to match, giving me a nice natural looking photo. When you're seeking the utmost control and precision over your lighting, a three light setup is the way to go. Three lights allow for control over your key, fill, and an accent light. This level of control is essential for achieving dynamic lighting setups. With careful placement, three lights can effectively eliminate unwanted shadows, producing both flawlessly lit subject and a background. A three light setup opens the door for a wide range of creative effects, including rim lighting, background lighting, and the ability to emphasize specific details. For this scene, I wanted to create a dynamic portrait with a three light setup. So I picked an area that had a lot of texture in the background. During the shoot, there was a room with some tree branches in the corner. So I placed a chair in front of this and had my model sit in it. Then I brought in my main light, a U60B with a softbox. I placed this high at an angle pointing down on my subject. This is to produce loop lighting. I then added in a hair light opposite of my main light. And just like with the last shot, I wanted a warm look. So I changed the white balance to 3200 Kelvin. Finally, I added a background light just behind my subject. I wanted this to be a hard light source, so I used the U60B with a diffusion dome. This made it so the branches would cast interesting shadows on the wall, adding to the texture of the background. I also wanted this to have a warm look, so I changed the white balance of this light to match my hair light at 3200 Kelvin. Whether you opt for the simplicity of one light, the balance of two, or the precision of three, each setup has its own purpose in your photography kit. As a photographer, the key lies in understanding the benefits of each configuration, and more importantly, finding the right balance that complements the vision of your shoot. Which of these looks did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>